everyone welcome back to my channel I haven't really introduced myself but my name is Taylor and you may see me on my Instagram I thought I would come and introduce myself so today I am gonna do an unboxing and I might have splurged a little too much I have been saving for this for a very long time it's getting close to my birthday and I thought why not they had a price increase in store and this um, Metaporte still had the old price so I thought this is probably the best time to purchase this bag. And now I'll show you the unboxing. I have kind of had a sneak peek because I'm so excited and who can wait a second. Box and I am going to open and here is the unboxing. So excited. This is my new Gucci Marmot mini crossbody bag. I will list down the details below. I'm not 100% sure what the, f the correct name is, but this is the mini version. So not the small, but not the super mini. For me, I am five foot three and quite short and small. I found the small, which is a little oversized and huge for me and not and the price was a lot more, but I think this bag's absolutely gorgeous. It still has the tags. I've taken off the um, cellophane. It's just beautiful. It smells amazing. In the market for a black Gucci bag, but for like a couple of years, I've had my eye on the Gucci Soho Disco bag, which everyone has. And I was leaning towards purchasing that. And then the Gucci Marmot camera bag came out. And that was kind of similar with the GG, but a little bit more dressy. But the problem was, it was, I, th I think it was a, for the sm small, oh no, it's the mini. It was just a little bit too small compared to the Gucci. And then the small version was a lot wider, so it looked a bit oversized on me. The other problem was the chain, as in 5'3", five, 5'2". Five, the chain, I just like to carry in my bag on my shoulder, just normally, or crossbody, and it was still way too long. And then I had a friend who actually had the small version of this, and I saw it on her, and I was just like, that's the bag I want. Like, you know, when you instantly fall in love with the bag. And that's what I, how I felt about the Gucci Soho when I saw it on everyone. And then when I tried it on in store, I was kind of felt a bit, I tried on this first, but I kind of felt a bit underwhelmed. Like it's a gorgeous bag, but it wasn't like, I found like it was maybe a little bit too casual for what I was looking for since I've got like black leather backpacks, another crossbody bag. So I thought I really want a small but not too small bag that I can wear going out or I could dress it down. So this is when this came into the picture and I'm not gonna lie it's a very expensive purchase but I had saved for so long my a lot of my money and hard work has gone into this bag. I will treasure this bag forever and I didn't want to spend that amount on the Soho and then think about it later going, oh, I kind of wish I got this bag where I could have put that couple hundred more towards this bag. So while it still had the old price, I snapped this up from Metaporte. The DHL shipping was amazing. I think I ordered it on the Saturday. Bit nervous to be honest, ordering this bag overseas because, you know, Australia Post tends to forget to deliver at the right house. I'm going to show you this bag and what it looks like. So this is a size, this is my head, this is my hand. Here it is close up, I try to focus. Sorry I don't have the best lighting right now so you can see the detail and how gorgeous is the heart. And then it has the clasp, so the push lock clasp. You open it, it's still got the Thing, so I'll take that out. Here we go. And there's the tag and then just the 
you know, the typical Gucci cards and it's just the perfect size and plenty of room. So I'm going to actually show you how I stuff this bag. I don't know, I'm going through a phase where I just like to carry the most minimal things ever because when I carry something heavy or big, it just looks oversized and I feel like it hurts my back and shoulders. You can see inside. And that just flaps on easy. So I am super happy with my purchase. I would highly recommend this bag if this is something you are looking for. If you're not sure, please go in store like me and just try it on and get the feel because I was kind of shocked that I just didn't fall in love with the Soho Disco as I thought because I used to always eye off that bag in person but I feel like once you try on the bag yourself and you actually feel what it looks on you instead of this other person, what you ever see, it might not be the bag for you. Also, you got to think about what you actually want from a bag. So thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to try a post once a week or maybe twice. I just, I'm very new to this. If you would like a chat or see me more regular, follow my Instagram, which I'll pop right here. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe, which is just down below. 